Welcome to the Red Men TV. Liverpool beat Crystal Palace by four goals to two. It's Twitter reaction time. Uh, I've got a belter to start with at Flet underscore Luke. Lovren has more Premier League goals than Pogba. Yes, he does. Absolutely love that shit. Uh, uh, Skank Hunt 42. I'm not going to try and do the at. In fact, fuck it. At A B D R H A M A N A L F Q U H. Carius uh, was shit the first half, but turned it around second. Chan is God. I don't know whether Carius was shit first half. I think there was a couple of times where, you know, for their, for their first goal, he could have come out with his hands high, but shit. I think that's a little bit harsh, to be perfectly honest with you there. Chan is God. Yeah, you're not going to get any arguments from me on that one. Chan is a bit of a God. Uh, at ready underscore Eddie. I think we have finally put the ghosts of Selhurst Park to rest. May the Reds go marching on. That's an important point, isn't it? Because Selhurst Park has been a place where we've struggled recently, not least 13, 14, of course. But it's a good ground. They've got good fans there. They create a good atmosphere. And that Crystal Palace side was set up to hurt us. That's the type of side there that normally does us damage. You know, we were all a little bit worried about Christian Benteke going into that game. He wins two headers leading up to their two goals, but he never really looked like he was going to score from a header inside the box. He has a couple of opportunities where he perhaps should have done better, but that's the Christian Benteke that we had at Liverpool, and that's the Christian Benteke that I'm, I'm kind of fine with him getting the ball inside the 18-yard box and making him shoot, because he's not very good at it, to be perfectly honest with you. And it's another box tick, isn't it? It's, you know, we've played against a big target man who we used to struggle with, and we've dealt with him really, really well. At Daniel underscore McCone, another important three points in Challenging for the title. Moreno is clearly improving, which is excellent to see. Coutinho, man of the match. I agree with everything you've said there, Daniel. NRB 1986. How many interceptions did Moreno make today? Probably should have thought of the answer before I uh, got that one up. So apologies there. I don't know the answer to that. At the LFC guide, brilliant performance. Lovren at fault a couple of times, but still a decent performance of him. Can we keep it up? I think we can keep it up. I think we're playing well. We're obviously in a, in a rich vein of form at the minute. You know, we're not looking too troubled by sides because we're scoring more goals than them. I think people are going to be more worried about us than we are going to be about other teams at the minute. And Dejan Lovren, I think on the whole, he had a decent game. He obviously makes up for his mistake by scoring a goal from a corner, which is nice. Uh, at Rico536, trying not to get my hopes up. Yeah, fuck it, just get your hopes up. Do you know what? So what? Be happy. Enjoy it. Enjoy the fact that Liverpool are winning games. Enjoy the fact that footy is boss. Enjoy the fact that Liverpool are fucking boss. If you can't enjoy it now, when are you ever going to enjoy it? Because you're not going to enjoy it if we go through a bad patch. Enjoy it when we're playing well. Seriously, honest to God. At Trevor LFC 01 three more points aside from some... Hang on. Three more points aside from some hair-raising moments of madness, but job done. And that's what it is, isn't it? It's a long, hard slog of a season in the Premier League. And you've got to get three points whenever you take to the field. And we've done that, and that's what fucking matters. Uh, at Nolito40, three points. I'll take that. It's better than having a clean sheet and not scoring. Fucking agreed, Noel. Well played. Uh, a a son finally closed out a game and didn't have to sit shitting myself for the final 10 minutes. Overall, a good performance. It's an interesting point, that actually, because... You know, the way that that game started, the first half, you kind of thought that they'd still be in with a chance with 15 to go, and it could get a little bit nervous. The fact of the matter is, Firmino scores, that game's put to bed. We make a few substitutions, and they never really look like scoring after that for me. Uh, Antoine Alzawad, three points. Not one, but two corner goals, and then the little emoji with sunglasses. Ben Teke didn't score. Hey, Alan Pardew frustrated. Yes, love that. Sharing number one on the table. Love that. Great performance, and another little emoji. A clap this time at Red Raider Bob 05 bogey team handled take the three points and run home with them get the plane you don't want to tie yourself out lads uh, at Lewis Cleary sixth hey uh, Lewis you're right lads another outstanding attack and performance but still not much improvement in the defence Lewis chin up fucking smile we won we scored four goals be fucking happier uh, at Nathan LFC 100 I love Bobby I love Bobby too. And finally, at Danny underscore Buban, Coutinho makes me feel all kind of ways. Yeah, he makes me feel weird. Weird because he's a fella. Weird because he's boss at footy. And weird because I don't think I've had these feelings about a man ever before. Anyway, that's been the Twitter reaction show. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to check out the player ratings and the match reaction. They'll be up on YouTube, if not now, very, very soon.